Before our delirium program, we actually had quite a disruption on some of our nursing units by some of these patients. It was disruptive to patients, it was disruptive to families, as well as to nurses and physicians. Delirium is an acute confusional state. Dementia is more of a gradual transition over time. I was constantly trying to explain to families what delirium was, how it was different from dementia, how we, we didn't do this to them. My dad was brought here for his hip fracture, and when he went into the hospital, he was okay, but he became very confused, especially after the surgery. He became somewhat violent, kicking and biting nurses, yelling and screaming. Where, 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 where? Delirium from a patient perspective can be absolutely frightening and horrific. It can include terrible hallucinations, overwhelming, and just feeling like your mind has gone. If you're older than 65 and you get delirium, there's a 40% chance you're gonna be dead in 12 months. The way the delirium management program works is that in the case of a patient who becomes acutely confused, either with hyperactive or hypoactive confusion, a nurse would do an assessment for patient safety. The first thing I do when I walk in is I'm scanning from top to bottom the whole room. I'm looking at if there's cords or wires or things like that. Then I'm looking, are they fidgeting? Are they pulling on their blanket? The nurse would also assess the patient using the CAM assessment tool, which stands for Confusion Assessment Method. Once the nurse has identified the patient as being acutely confused, the nurse then calls the HBS doc. At that point, the HBS doctor will order the delirium management protocol and also, if necessary, order some medications to manage the delirium. In addition to that, the HBS doc will review the list of meds that the patient is on to see if there are any deliriogenic meds. Once the HBS doc has done that, the RN will refer the patient to the delirium rounds. In addition, a nurse and a psychiatrist doing templated notes, an initial note and a follow-up note on a daily basis. Also, there's input from the social workers. They have their own templated note. We also created a dot phrase for nurses to use because we needed to know what happened in the middle of the night, why a medication was used, and what was the result. We provided a mandatory education program. The training was about medications that work for them, medications that will exacerbate their symptoms and not to use, how to provide a calm environment, how to manage these patients, how to talk to these patients. Okay. Yeah, nice. And I'm gonna get your medicine. Nice. Okay. My patients, when I offer them therapeutic communication, I'm trying to build a rapport with them and establish trust and then help them be comfortable and safe. You can rest now. Thank you for doing that with me. As we address the challenges that are coming up in healthcare, the best solutions are ones that maximize quality and do it in ways that are most convenient for patients. This quality program reflects all of those hearts. It brings together individuals from multiple disciplines working together as one to add value. It utilizes the technology embedded in HAPI Health Connect. It's able to link in families and let them understand what is going on. This is upstream, it's organized, it's collaborative, and it's looking at the patient proactively, reviewing their medications, prior conditions, and really having a clear plan in place for uh, managing them. One of the outcomes we've been most impressed with was the reduction of the average length of stay in our dementia patient with delirium from eight and a half days to six and a half days. Both our physicians and our frontline staff are very excited about this program. They've really seen a change, actually feeling like they have the tools, the knowledge, the skills to provide the best care for these patients. I feel like we can intervene more quickly now. You can anticipate the, the symptoms that the patient's having before it escalates. I know you've had a rough couple days and I wanted to come in. I heard you're doing much better. This program has truly uh, changed the way that I practice medicine. It's allowed me to take a situation that was filled with anxiety and frustration and turn it around to a positive challenge. I have endless photographs of him in here laughing and joking and people were just great. That 
lightened the load tremendously for me and for him. I definitely feel like it has allowed me the opportunity to give my patients the best care possible and it also has fostered a great relationship with the physicians because I feel like our communication has greatly been enhanced.